Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folari. It's a Friday and we usually thank God it is one. Anyway, but onto very serious uh, matters, um, talking about the terror threats up and down the land. And uh, of course, the police is at the forefront of this, uh, majorly responsible for uh, internal security. There might be other agencies that are also working in collaboration with them. What you think of the police when you think of threats to public safety. Um, so uh, we're, we're fortunate this morning to have with us um, the fourth PRO, uh, Chief Superintendent of Police, Olumuiwa Adejobi. Uh, it's a good thing to have you, CSP. Thank, thank you, you very, very much for coming on the program. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. And uh, congratulations you know, on your confirmation uh, in April, back in April. Uh, of course, you've been in the station since then, but this is the first time you've been on our program. Now you see, this is the first time you've seen me. <laughs> thank you. Indeed. You're very, very welcome. Yeah. So, um, it, it's a very serious matter uh, because um, security uh, is worsening, uh, is what the ordinary person would say. Uh, suddenly, it used to be a spectacular, extraordinary event uh, to come to harm by way of kidnapping, for instance, which is one form. Uh, but nowadays, I, I hope we're not going into fatigue. It's almost as if, you know, it's, it's, it's almost expected. But the IG, the Inspector General of Police, has now ordered a beefing up of public infrastructure security. And it's in that context that uh, you so kindly visited our studio this morning. Of course, that will lead on to other things. But um, beefing up the security of our infrastructure, that's a humongous task, I would say. Um, do you have the men and materials for it? Well, let me correct one impression that this situation is getting worse in Nigeria. It's okay. not. It's not. The, the, the trend and the news around um, is, 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 let me say, let me say it's, it's, it's fake. Most, most times, most of this noise, they are, they are, not, they are not genuine. And the, 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 the projection or psychological projection of this security problem in Nigeria is um, actually tailored to spread of fake news in most cases. And when you actually have a particular information you get there, you discover it's not even, it's not even there at all, it's not a reality. Okay. So I think we, we, the, the psychological projection in that regard is affecting our general perception mm -hmm. of, this, of security situation in, in the country. So we are not getting it bad at all. We are still getting it good. Then they come to the directive of the Inspector General of Police. Um, we all know that we have we've been having our men um, across, across the country, uh, deployments everywhere. But what the IGP just um, did was when it was reviewing the, the security architecture of the country, uh, the IGP felt... Uh, during the last management um, meeting, he felt there's need for us to still do more strategic deployment. And uh, one good thing is the only thing that is constant in life is change. Mm. And it's inevitable. So if you want to be a successful man, you must review your, your approaches, your strategies on a regular basis so that you know whether they're in tandem with present or current happenings uh, in the security field. So we, the IGP, the directive was to have uh, deployment to, to consider some schools, hospitals, uh, and um, infrastructural facilities across uh, the country. It, the question has been, do you have, do you have men to, to go to? I think we're having 20, 27,000 uh, private schools, and altogether the schools we're having, there are more than 100,000 schools across board, and no facilities. So how do you want to deploy? We are not talking of deployment of uh, policemen to every facility, to every school, to every uh, hospital in Nigeria, no. This time around this, if you have, if you have a stretch of a long road, for this time we are talking about Bakantoni in Lagos here now. Okay. A long, long road from Bakantoni up to Obakra and up to Maryland. The deployment you're going to do is going to be in such a way that if you're having two patrol vehicles along this particular road, you should be able to cover all the facilities you're having along this road. It is not that we have a school here, two policemen. We have another school, two policemen. No. This, this deployment is going to give buffer to all facilities around that particular circumference. That is the strategic deployment we are talking now. We are mindful of the fact that we don't have the, 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 the men to go to all these, uh, these facilities. Mm. But this, this strategic deployment is going to help us. Uh, it's what experts, senior officers, including the IGP, they, they were able to design the operation order. 
We'll see how we're going to do it. And this, uh, uh, so far so good, this is, 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 is paying off because uh, in some areas we have uh, made some arrests. We have re recovered certain things. And don't forget, in, in the last, um, my press statement, it's not only to, to be for security around these facilities. IGP gave instructions again to intensify patrol. Okay. And okay. to do stop and such. People have been saying our men on the road here and there. We want visibility policing. I wonder if you're traveling from um, uh, Kaduna, Kaduna to Kanu, Zaria Kanu, and you don't see just a single policeman. I'm sure you go to park. Uh, what is happening here? Mm -hmm. This road is too deserted. You want policemen. Mm -hmm. So people always like to see policemen. Yeah, and course. the IGB gave clear instructions that when you are doing this stop and search, the law permits you to do stop and search on individuals, property, vehicles, to be devoid of corruption, harassment, intimidation. The professionalism in every policeman must come to play when we are doing this job. When you do proper stop and search, there's no how, there's no how you not recover or discover so many things on the road. Then apart from that, we are talking of raid. There's no how, it's part of our strategic measures to cope crimes and criminality in our society to have raids on, to conduct raids on blast spots. There are some areas that have been marked blast spots in various communities, urban centers, rural areas that this place, oh boy, in a no-go area. So we, we, we know and we, we plan on regular basis to see how we launch attack on this, this place. We need to take the fight to them in their dens, not to wait. We want to be proactive this time around rather than being reactive. So now the effort is to go into their den, pick them, stream them. The instruction of the IGP is clear again that when you read, don't just dump everybody in the cell. The complaints have been like, they just arrest me. I show them my ID card. They have not done this. They have not, no, no, no. Take that uh, pain to do screening before you dump everybody in the cell. Those that you know, the, the identities are so uh, confusing. You can still say, okay, this is so period. Go and get me your card or somebody from the office will call. And that's why you've been encouraging Nigerians now to move their uh, ID cards and the like so that you'll be able to they can identify you in case you come. So these are the things that we cannot run away from. We are going to be having them, visibility policing, top and search, raid on blast spots, and the likes. And intensified patrol. There are areas now that the IGP has directed that this route of this road. We have sectorized some of the major highways in Nigeria across the country. So so region to also region is under a provision. I don't want to hear tourists. I don't want to record any ugly incidents in this area. So these are, are the new innovations that we bring. We, 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 are, we, are, we are introducing to our strategy so that we'll be able to have better security arrangement across uh, the country. So with, with what we're having on ground and the ideas the IGP is bringing up this time around, we, we, we hope very, very soon we will not be having this noise here and there and on a psychological projection. Okay, let me talk about that issues. psychological uh, issue that you sort of... Um, addressed at the very top because um, um, you sort of demurred on the aspect of uh, uh, terror threats uh, maybe increasing. You say uh, you said no, that's contrary to what you know professionally. You don't discuss security if you don't have empirical facts. The fact we're having from our statistics is not saying we are getting it bad. It's not that it's getting worse. Okay. It's just it's not that it's getting see worse. the case of the discovery of kidnappers then close to force headquarters in Abuja. Mm -hmm. The news went viral mm -hmm. that they discovered kidnappers then close to the headquarters, the office of the Inspector General of Police. Mm -hmm. You should not know if it is true. Mm -hmm. You should slap on the face uh, yes, of the it, police it, entirely. It, but it's not true. Okay. It's, just, it's just the DPO Central Police Station in Abuja was proactive enough that we discovered some abandoned shanties between the Ministry of Women Affairs Office, that ministry, and uh, Akwa Ibom House. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is the, the place is bushy. And he discovered that these shanties, if I don't destroy these shanties, guys might be hiding here to perpetrate evil hearts. He went there, he destroyed, he did the video. But the change in narrative is that no, he it, 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 it discovered, he uh -oh, discovered. Uh -oh, so yeah. the video went viral. And mm -hmm. of course, if, if, if he didn't debunk it on time, Nigerians were, were trying to believe that no, it is true. There's a slap on the IG. What's the IG doing in the office? Yes. If we could have a, a kidnappers then close to the office of the IG, but it is, it is not true. Okay. It is fake. Okay. It is not true. It so is. Now, now we have to go out and say, no, Nigerians, it is not so. Now they will tell you you don't go to Abuja. People, people in my village be calling me, ah, can't you beg the IG? Leave Abuja now. Abuja is this. They can't go to Abuja. I say, no, this is Abuja. And I moved around at night. 
I did the video call with all of them. See movement. See clubs. See social gathering. See event centers. Everything is working well in Abuja. But they will give you the impression. You in Lagos, they will say, no, don't go to Abuja. Abuja is no good area. Okay. But it's not true. We live in Abuja. But, we work in Abuja. But, we stay in Abuja. Indeed. Uh, but it, it, it is a fact, perhaps you will agree, that um, Nigerians, especially, you know, uh, maybe in Abuja, come to the south, uh, come to Lagos, for, for instance, uh, people mm. are a lot more careful about keeping late nights and uh, pub crawling. Uh, look, the way it used to be, it's not quite the same. Things are different. And because most people are, you know, apprehensive, even though you've put it into a context, that look, there's also some fake news out there. There's some inaccurate information out there, as you've just put it. Uh, but people know that the, uh, this town, for instance, um, you know, you, it's not the done thing to, to, to be hopping from pub to pub to pub. Now, do you disagree with that? I do. I've been in Lagos since, um, I think I came into Lagos Tuesday. The night economy in Lagos is, is, is not it's, bad. Everything is still working well. It's good. I was in Gombe last week. Mm -hmm. when, if, if, before I went to Gombe, the impression is anywhere in the northeast, anywhere in the north central, is no good area. Okay. I was in Maiduguri when IGP flagged off uh, training for uh, preparation for 2023 general elections. The, the social life is okay. okay. Night economy is okay. Night life is okay. So, so, we, 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 so, if, you don't, so if you are not there yeah, and then, you want to listen to what or you want to read uh, in the news or social media, particularly social media, mm. the thing is, don't go there, they will mm. kill you. Mm. As you enter, you are, done, you are gone. Mm -hmm. As you enter, they slaughter you. As you enter, they attack. Well, but it's not so. No, no, no. I can it, is not so. it isn't so. It is not so. Uh, but that is, uh, maybe people are hearing it now, um, whereas it's not, as you have just said. We have pockets of incidences. There's no harm. When you have one or two people in a particular place, there's no how you don't have element of criminality. It's not one, even we have intra, intrapersonal criminal tendencies. Within you, your kidney, your lungs, your intestines may be having issues when it's themselves. That's why you feel uncomfortable at times. I say, oh, my doctor, I'm not feeling fine. You have intrapersonal issues. Let's to talk of interpersonal issues and intergroup problems. So there's no how in sociology, when you have people, one, two, three living together, they there are must, according to Anome, he said there must be deviant behavior. Anome is a theory that people tend, when you are saying go like this, they will go like this. It is natural, it's part of human existence. So there's nothing you can do about it. So, in as much as we are having more than one person in a place, mm -hmm. there will be some issues. There are more, there that are more can be, be issues. So, we have pockets Law of instances. We have pockets of instances, fine kidnapping, at times, and robbery. But yet, when they do, we go after them, we okay. get them. Okay. As I speak, the last, last, last year, last year, 2021, January, April 2021 to April this year, we, we have rescued almost 2,700 uh, victims. On hot, on hot. Victims. No ransom paid. Yes, of victims. Kidnapping. No ransom paid. We have arrested them. And we've charged them to court. We charged, altogether in Nigeria, we charged 72,000, more than 72,000 cases to court. So, we have got 35,000 convictions. Others are still active cases in court. Mm -hmm. So it's not that when they do, we allow them to go. No. If you do, you go. Because we'll go after you and we pick you. Now you would have heard also, and it's, 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 it's what, first of all, what you're saying as the uh, first public relations officer is that um, reports about uh, uh, terror uh, in, in our societies, uh, they're, they're largely exaggerated is what you find upon yes, investigation yes, yes, yes. Of, of these reports. Um, whereas it's not as if uh, everything is perfect, no society can be perfect. No, it's not you, you, you say that you wouldn't subscribe to the idea that terror is worsening uh, among the citizenry. No. You say that, that is not backed up by no. your being on ground. Okay. Um, I, 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 I take that now. Uh, so maybe, as you said, you also were careful to say that, especially social media uh, reports. That's a, major, people, that's a major problem. That is a major uh, issue. A major so problem. people should take that with not just a pinch of salt, maybe sometimes a handful in some cases, because it just goes on, and uh, most of us know to be very, very careful about social media, verify what you are, what you are sharing, if you must share that kind of thing. Nigerians so, don't even read any, any piece they, for them. They, they just, just sent it. They, speak, they send it's it copy on. and paste. Mm, mm. They just speak and you go. And At least if, if, if this, someone, is unfair, yes. this is unfair, perhaps, in your opinion. If, 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 for instance, let's say the president is number one man in Nigeria today. If somebody says, President Buhari slaps me, what did you mean? 
many Nigerians will not think twice. Say, ah, at what point in time did President slap me? Where would they meet? Where were they slapping each other? And he just say, oh, he slapped him. I know if you do him now, Gary, shiam, shiam. No. At least we need to read. When the peace comes to you, when that this comes to you, sit down. Like, what is the logic behind this? President Muhammad Buhari slaps Muiwa Adijobi. Where? How will he laugh? So that, that is the kind of thing How that leaders don't do. If I meet the president and I'm going to be like a dead dude, I will salute until he say, Muiwa, yeah, relax. Stay, 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 yeah, that's the normal know. thing. So at what point in time, what we warrant president slapping Muiwa Adijobi? But today, but I have 80% conviction that if that news comes out now, more than two million engineers we share without even reading, analyzing, and uh, come. What is the rationale behind this story? How will President slap me while the job? So that's the problem we have. Yeah. Let Nigerians always study this information, this news. Come, let us logically see that. Can this thing even happen? How will this happen? No, let me put a call across to some person to confirm. Is it true? We don't like to confirm. And that All is, we want is, and that is get what the news, to do. package the news. I sell it to people like that. Well, it is confusing. The, 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 the professionals, is the, the mainstream media don't do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Mainstream no, no. Media Even the main, mainstream media is, is they are on their toes now because of social media. Yes, digital, yes. digital journalism is a problem now. Mm -hmm. Citizen journalism is another thing that is coming mm -hmm. up. Before, we used to have fourth estate of the realm. Mm -hmm. Now, I think we are having the fifth yeah, estate of the realm. Especially the fifth Putting problems. us on our toes. Yeah, exactly. You know. Um, okay, uh, this is reassuring to hear because um, anybody hearing this program, uh, even abroad, uh, will be, you know, aha, uh, you know, uh, a bit relieved to hear that. Look, the police are saying it's not as if there aren't any issues, but it's certainly nowhere as bad as is being is put no. out the, the, on the, the, social the, the sacrifice, media. You've been in Lagos, the sacrifice and you said and the, the nightlife in Lagos is, 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 is The is, sacrifice is okay. that can make is to release his personal life. To Nigerians, mm. to public domain, mm. call me at any time. Mm -hmm. It is not easy. Mm. We don't sleep. Mm -hmm. PRO Lagos doesn't sleep. All the PROs, all the CPs, many of them, they don't sleep. The IG said, roll out your numbers. Let Nigerians have access to you. Clarify issues. So if you have taken this pain, you have done this sacrifice for Nigerians to have direct access to us, I don't think we should be having issues of spreading of fake news or misinformation. Okay. Call at any point in time. We have more than seven platforms through which you can clarify, verify information from the police. If they sell, somebody is saying 20 and, people killed. And someone is going to pick up the phone because your yeah. phones are online. Yes. Your phone numbers yes. are online. The number is somebody there. is going to pick people up People can phone. testify to that. If somebody is saying they have killed 20 people somewhere, the you best to person to call, the DPO, the CPO of that state. Okay. That CP, sir, is it true that they have killed? Okay. Yes. Tell the Nigerians to let us, some Nigerians, no, no, nothing happened in social place. Nobody was killed. They still go ahead. We'll tell you no, not lie. Okay. So if you just have belief in the system, have belief in us. We 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 are the one in charge. We we at times with the doctors we confirm people dead. Not somebody to say, oh, 50 people, they, they were kids. I hear you. There no are process, rules. Nothing. There no, are no, rules. There are rules to this rules communication to go, there are processes. Um, and this is what okay, we want them to understand. Mr. Dejibay, I've got to bring in um uh, Mazi Okorafo, who has been waiting for you to land. Uh good morning, Mazi Okorafo. Uh quickly, please. Good morning, Sayori. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Chesty, I did you be? Mazi, in the house. Mama, sir, I can't quite get that. I want to find out from you. Yeah. IGP ordered last weekend stop and start. Now, how do we identify a real policeman or woman on duty at a checkpoint? You see, sometimes people, uh, some policemen or uh, women are wearing mufti on duty. So, how do I identify this thing? And secondly, there is what is going on now, which you know, and I'm sure you are aware of it. This Google and Apple loan financial business that are so rampant in Nigeria. When they give somebody maybe 10,000 naira, they say within one week or within four days, you will pay 14,000 naira. When you fail to beat up their deadline, they will start blackmailing the person. What is the authority doing? Because the thing is getting out of proportion. Okay. Okay, okay Mazi, uh, let, let, let's let. Let's allow CSP to sort of respond uh, to that two two pronged question. One, policemen in Mufti. Uh, that, they, is, that is unprofessional. Yeah, I, I, I see the member policemen. the IGP gave instruction sometimes that no policeman that want to go on the road for stop and search or, or patrol to be, be Mufti. Mufti. No, you must put on your uniform and your name must be clearly written on your chest so that you can be easily. Identified by anybody. That and is, the, the, the instruction, that, instruction that, was clear enough. That and is for I, I, policemen I, I, who want to go on official 
Uh, official. Yeah, official. Yeah. But, but also there are undercover cops. Yeah, yeah, undercover cops are not supposed to do stuff as such. That's where the problem comes from. Neither I don't expect, for instance, we have, I, for instance, I have IRT, mm -hmm. we have STS, mm -hmm. we have SWAT. I don't think normally these three tactical units should go and form stop and search points. So, okay, I want to be checking. No, no, no. They are actually the punching arm, striking squads of the force. They go, strike, hand over, go out to investigate. But uh, generally, if you want to do patrol and stop and search, that you want to stand on the road, the authority you have as a policeman to stand on the road, or as an engineer to stand on the road, is authority on you, bestowed on you by the constitution and by your uniform. Okay. If, if somebody is just putting on mufti, as you are now with this, your Ibadan or Lagos cap, and you are flagging down somebody there, they will not, they will not honor you. They won't listen to you because it was a problem. Okay. Get let, off the let, way. Let, let me bring on another caller. Good morning, Mr. George, and thank you for holding on. Thank you, Uncle Yori. Good morning, and good morning to the PRO. Yes. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Oga, please, I, will, I have two questions. Number one, uh, uh, let us first thank you. The police is trying. We know it's not an easy job to do. Number one question is, this new pattern of operation, are you in liaison with the, uh, with the army? Do you go with the army or you just do it alone? Uh, when, when going to the forest to, to, to hunt for these uh, bad boys. That's number one. Okay. The, no, the second question I have, sir, if you are going from Lagos to Benin, I used to travel along that road. In the portion of Ondo State, there are some people who stop. There is a group of people. I've met them in two different locations along that road. They will stop you and tell you to pay Ondo State local government uh, uh, levies on a federal road. Is it allowed? If All you don't right. have the money, you will not go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. George. Um, well, from, from that one, there was a time there was a directive from Abuja that nobody should, uh, whether the venue collectors should be blocking uh, vehicles on highways, particularly federal highways. I don't think it's, I don't think it's proper. I'm going to find out, and I possibly to, uh, notify the Inspector General of Police of this. I don't know the present position of that, but there was a time Instruction uh, uh, was given that no nobody revenue putting on sticks and the lies and disturbing uh, road users. I don't think it's, but I'm, I'm going to find out. Mm -hmm. And if there is need for for the police to look into that, we are going to look into that. Then come to this was this was synergy. Well, this this time around we are having it good, and I think um, the CDS as chief uh, of defense staff, uh, General Loki Gerabo, has been so uh, professional about it. On a regular basis, they meet with the Special General of Police. And there is no, there is no operation now that we, the, the, the military will flag off that at least majorly we always have large percentage of our men. And as people too, we have almost uh, 92 units of PMF that are working with the military um, in various uh, operations across the country. And apart from that, you discover that most of the states we have joint uh, patrols. You see the military, the police, NSCDC, so and all of them. So we work, so we work in fact, this time around is the together. first and we are having that synergy very, very excellent. If you discover, recently we had a program in um, ICC, International Conference Center, the training, the IGP flag of training for officers and men, or the police in preparation uh, for 2023 general elections. All the service chiefs were there. Okay. Commander services were there. CDS personally uh, was there. So, in fact, uh, the, the NSA, the NSA commended that, in fact, the, the synergy we are enjoying now amongst um, security agencies are excellent. So, okay. we, so, we, so we, that, we are good to go. That, that answers uh, Mr. George's yeah. question. Emmanuel in Otukbo, good morning, sir. Good morning, Uncle Yuri. Thank you for calling. I greet your guest, the PRO. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank, uh, the, the police, now the police force, it appears to some of us as if the job they are doing is cosmetic. Because the special protection they need, the emphasis is more on them. The ones that got the rich men, those ones have money to pay. And they should not treat Nigerians preferentially as if some of us are not human beings. Now, police, if it has sustained right from the days of Sunday Adewuti, the greatest IG I ever knew as a young man, Nigeria would have been a wonderful place to be like America. The only person, the only IG that came close to Sunday Adewuti was Tapa Balogu, but he didn't end well. Why am I saying this? The appointment of ID of police is the problem in this country. It's not by merit anymore. 
you just look at an individual that is from your locality or colleagues your people and you appoint him as the IG. Well, you, you know, I, I beg your pardon for interrupting you, um, uh, yeah. in, in, uh, Mr. Emmanuel. Um, okay. You know, the, you're going into an area that we actually, you know, we, we could spend all of today speaking, with the, speaking about the police, but we wanted to look in particular at the police beefing up uh, public infrastructure as a result yes. of terror threats. So, uh, okay. Said, yes. up, uh, if you could confine yourself to finding out how that is going to work, that would be very, very helpful, even though okay. your question is also what it is. So, thank you. So, would you, would you, did you want to know anything about terror threats, in IGP, beefing up public infrastructure security? That's what... Uh, uh, it, do, it doesn't really dream me because I know it is ineffective. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. Yes. Thank you very much for calling in, nevertheless. Appreciate your call. Even that, that we need to just talk. Yes, 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 That perception is wrong. That Which the perception? selection of the IGP is wrong. And this, and uh, it's done by the, uh, uh, the police council, and yeah. headed by uh, the president. Yeah. And this time around, this time around, this for a very long time, we've not um, had a, the most senior person to become the IGP. Then when, when Usman Akali Baba was the DIG, he was the most senior person in Nigeria police for then. When uh, the IGP retired, Adamu was to go. So he was a poor senior person, the most experienced person to take over. And the president, the, the council appointed him before his confirmation later. So it, it, is, it is not that somebody will just say, I want to pick an IGP. He goes, he goes beyond that. There's yeah, always a committee, there's always a council that, that, that does, yes, that, I, I, that, that will be looking into that. And this time around, for a very long time, you mm -hmm. know, the history is problem of brain drain, yes. that they would pick a, it's the youngest one. And about 21 officers will go, senior officers who have been trained, who have experience. But now this time around, the most senior person on the list. And I appreciate that. The most experienced person. Thank you for, thank you for even going there. Uh, thank you for even going there. Well, Emmanuel Inotupo is a, he's res, a respected viewer and he calls him. But you see, you understand, being a professional, uh, communication professional, if we don't segment our conversations, we'll miss out on some things Fine, we want but to dwell there, there, on. There's, but there's you need for us to just that. clarify that so that you, you don't have, have that wrong that. impression. Yeah. That yeah. somebody that will just sit down and pick an IG. It's no, not no, done no, that no, way. No, it's no, not no, done no. that way. We're talking of the IG, I'm a policeman. Yeah. So it's okay. not that we we'll just and, sit down and, after taking the, and he has made up a cup of a cup of tea and you pick an IG. No, it's not done that way. And he has made up his mind who the best IGP is. So, you know, those are in the areas of, you know, opinion. And so that is what what it is. Um, But to return to the core subject, um, I wanted to look into this public infrastructure. That is what? Public buildings, uh, shopping centers, uh, uh, bridges, and uh, that kind of a thing. So we want to, uh, we'll go on a break now. When we come back, I want to come straight back onto the lane of IGP beefing up public infrastructure and how we define public inf infrastructure. Uh, stay with us, please. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we got with us the Force PRO CSP Olumuiwa Adejo B. He's with us and he's answering. Um, uh, we're, we're really having a conversation. Uh, yeah, he's answering questions on uh, the uh, latest IGP's uh, initiative, uh, which is to beef up security on infrastructure uh, uh, across the land. He's put it in context, though, um, that bearing in mind the numbers, uh, uh, we, we have to moderate, you know, our expectations as to what to see, uh, what will be seen. And so I wanted to now go to where we talk, shopping centers, uh, uh, bridges, uh, airports, uh, hospitals. What, what does the police consider for the purpose of this particular instruction as, um, you know, infrastructure, public infrastructure? There are many infrastructure I know. Um, we can speak of. They call them vulnerable assets. And they're prone to attacks. Assets. Vulnerable say they're prone to attacks. For instance, installations. Uh, power installation is very critical. Mm -hmm. Telecommunication is very critical. Like the airport, very critical. And some other things like that, that we know that these are so very essential. In to those us. places that you mentioned, just a few, just a handful that you mentioned, um, that is the kind of thing the police, uh, the IGP has ordered security be beefed up at. Um, and um, is it in all aspects that we will see, uh, we will, that the public will see this uh, beefing up of security? Or are there some instances where the public might not even know that it has been beefed up, but operationally, 
uh, there has been a beefing up uh, to uh, be more effective. Aside from our main use on uniform fiscally, there are so many ICT based approaches that we, we have. Don't forget that we uh, sometimes ago the IGP uh, ordered commissioners of police to meet with uh, captains of industries, um, directors in various places to install CCTV cameras in their premises. Uh, to fortify, to have internal security around them. And most of these um, facilities and the efforts made ICT-based approaches are connected to our commander control center in Abuja. We have commander control center in Abuja. Uh, it's a very big, uh, let's say, laboratory office uh, where we, we monitor the, the whole country. We have the um, geographical map of Nigeria, even the demographic map of Nigeria, uh, on, on this screen, where you see every town, every town, not even local government this time, every town, every town where we have human existence is on that particular map. So most of these um, facilities from private companies, all of them, they have, they have been connected to our home command and control center. Like, for instance, in Lagos now, we're having two command and control centers, one in Alausa, uh, near the, the governor's office, and one in, uh, in the Kedja at command headquarters. All of them have been integrated together. Then most of the, these facilities, other banks and the likes, they have their um, security and networking connected to the commander control center. So apart okay. from the physical uh, presence, the visible policing you see, there's also there are so many technological, technological uh, that is uh, invisible, but it, it, very effective. It, it bobs up uh, very, the very effectiveness effective. of very, the police. Very uh, thank you very much for holding on, uh, James in uh, Lokoja. Good morning to you, sir. Go ahead with your question or observation. Yes, good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Um, good morning to the CSP there. Yes. Good morning, bro. Yes, I appreciate the work the police is doing in Nigeria to uh, save lives. But I also think sometimes that those of you who are the top echelon, uh, as a policeman yourself, you are being uh, protected, surrounded by other policemen. So, from your analysis of the way the country is safe, I do not think it is um, so. Um, accurate, yeah, um, because when you move, some, I, I don't know whether you are aware of the case that happened in a, around Lokoja here uh, last week, where about five policemen um, were killed, you know, including some other uh, vigilante uh, groups. You know, the picture you are painting does not reflect the reality that those of us who move around see. There is that fear. That is, sometimes you see policemen and you are even afraid of the policemen that you see or because you are not sure whether these people are genuine uh, police or not. So I think um, the police need to uh, rejig, re-strategize the um, operations so that, you know, Nigerians will really feel safe. All right. Uh, the picture you have taken is uh, too, too good uh, compared to the reality on ground, but you guys are trying anyway. All right, then. Thank you very much. Uh, James calling in from Lokoja. Your comments? The, 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 well, one, one, one security expert is a retired commissioner of police, ECS Ujuku. In fact, he was a former force bureau. He described the policeman. He said a policeman is a madman who runs to where people run away from. Did you get that? He's a madman, quote and unquote, who runs to where people run away from. Where people are saying there's a problem, oh, you don't, don't, don't for your life, follow life. You don't it's, expect to see policemen among those running. Police must be the one to go and Going see what in is the opposite happening. direction. And you know, it's one of the hazards of the job that when we are in operation, at times criminals, men of the other world, we lay ambush. And sincerely, when you talk of ambush, it's a very delicate thing. Because mm. you're on a movement, you mm. never knew mm. those who mm. have eaten themselves mm -hmm. in the bush or whatever. Mm -hmm. So at times when we go on operation to go and rescue to save situations, mm -hmm. We are attacked. Sometimes Fine. You are we are attacked. attacked. And that In fact, we've lost some of our men to this. Easy. And when somebody was telling me one day that, ah, oh, you police, what are you doing? I said, if you don't do anything, we will not be dying. No. We are human beings like you. We will die. It's because we are on duty and we are active. That's why we die. Okay. So it is, but, let us get it to it. The fact that and in they, kill, they kill some policemen somewhere doesn't mean we are not. In okay. fact, it's to show that we are working. I'm very we are moving towards our place. That's why. Our men were attacked okay. and killed. And, it's and, to show that we actually. And what working. you also said earlier, does it apply uh, when James Emmanuel said that um, he what he is on ground and what he is seeing, he says is at variance with what you uh, the picture you presented uh, earlier in the program. 
Like I said, like I said, there's no way you don't have a case of incidents. Okay. Like that. So okay. if you have seen one, does that mean the whole engineer is on fire? Okay. No. Ada, good morning no. in Joss. Good morning, Mr. Yori. Good, good morning to your guest, uh, CIC. Yes. Uh, I beg you, Yes. Uh, Ada, calling from Joss, Latu State. I know you. Yes, thank you for giving us hope. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. He is not just hearing you. Yes, he says he knows uh, you. Thank, he thank knows you your for, voice. Thank you for thank you for giving us hope. I don't expect you to come on the on, on the platform and start telling us that Nigeria is on fire. You're doing your job, you know. But all I want to know, tell you here, is that you can tell a blind man that there's no, um, I mean, oil in the soup, but you cannot tell him that there's no salt. So all we are trying to look for now is solution. Number one, the IGP and the president and the Senate. They should arrive at decentralizing the police. We cannot continue to have this kind of one centralized police we are having. That is the issue now. So okay. that they, they, it's a, it's a, it will be tackled right to the grassroots, you know. Most uh, crimes are local. For instance, uh, if we all the, the vigilantes, all those organized um, security acts established by governors, the hunters, if they are allowed to bear the actual like, the arms, like the bandits or whatever, you know, it will be easier. They will be able to combat it, but okay. the, the reverse is the case. So that is the problem we're having now. So we should we should stop living in denial. It is really we are in pre precarious times. Oh dear. Yeah. Is, is that what you're really saying, Ada? I feel for them. Uh, okay. I, I, I really feel for them. No, I'll ask him one question. There was one program like that, the police diary on Radio Nigeria. I used to participate, and the excuse the the uh, this uh, CRO they was giving me was that. You two are not trained uh, to combat terrorists. Is that true? Is, is, is there no uh, part of the police that can be trained to combat terrorists? So okay. when the army is done, they can hold the ground, you know? Okay. It, 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 uh, let's let's ask the, the CSP, Ada. I beg your pardon for interrupting you. There you go. Um, <laughs> uh, again, there, are two, there are two issues you two, Yes. He's been an evangelist, evangelist of um, state police. <laughs> the answer has been her own. She has been conversing for that for a very long time. But you don't tell me to create state police. It's an act of the law. It's constitutional. So nobody is saying state police are no state police. No, it's if the if, if Nigerian people or government today to this says or they say there should be state police. If you police, we don't have a choice. So you don't tell me to go and create state police. It's not my job. Out of my profit at all. It's not even within my profit to say I want to create state police or no state police. So no. Yes. Then the, the issue is raised. I can't remember vividly, but I think I she, well, she's, 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 she's like saying again. They said it's not the job of police to. Well, let, let me let, let us clarify this. You know, she was talking the about military, specialist forces within the police. The, the military fight terrorists. The police can give support. That's the system we have in the country. Okay, that's the system and like we have said, here. Like said, most of the operations of the military, you see police there. Mm -hmm. Find out from them. Mm -hmm. and I tell you now, we have 90, more than 90, 92 units of PMF attached to this operation. So it's not that we allow the military to just to go, our military go. No, no. They, we, this, I'm, you work I'm together. On, with I'm on here and I'm on live. People can testify to that, that yeah. we have our men. In fact, there are some cases that we are even giving the men to them. That when you see them, you think they are military guys and they are by mobile men and everything is working well. We, 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 we fight the fight together. We fight the fight together, we feel the heat together. Do, do, those people that are working, those police people that are working with the Nigerian army on, on this kind Various of operations. Assignment, mm. uh, uh, yeah, they, they have specialist training? As yes, a, yes, yes, yes. We, we, we have a segment okay. of people, we call them special forces, and they have been trained by, by the police and, of course, they're trained okay. by the military. Well, I account. think we have someone coming not. in from where? Uh, 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 Mohammed in Mina. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? How is work today? Very well, thank you. Please go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we Hello, can hear can you. Can you hear me, sir? We can hear you clearly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I agree with the uh, police trial for his work well done. Hello? He can hear you. Go uh, ahead. Uh, my, 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 my question is that sometimes if you're having a problem, maybe you're having a problem with someone and you involve the police, maybe that person is throwing you money, and by the time they receive the money, the police officer will be telling you he has to collect his own percentage. His own percentage is five percent. So how legal is this? My how legal is this? Is the question you probably want to ask. Right. What I'm saying is that by the time you get to the police station, you want to report someone that is that is owing you money. A police officer will be telling you by the time you receive that money, your own 
They are one person. They decide to send. All right. Secondly. Uh, very good. Secondly. Okay, secondly. The second question is that sometimes if you are in the public, when there is a problem, a problem come up, what are police doing to control that situation? Because some people used to use that they know, to loot. To steal people's property. What are police doing in that area? When, when, when there is a disturbance, uh, hoodlums then hijack that, that disturbance to perpetrate exactly. other acts of robbery. That's the question you're asking. What yeah. can the police do about exactly. this? Okay, sir. What Thank you. Police? Thank you very much, sir. Um, well, the first one, the first one, he raised the issue of... Um, uh, was, uh, uh, the, the first one, death, that, death, that the death, police, death the police want a percentage death, death of recovery. deaths in the first instance, to recover. In the first instance, police don't recover death. So I wouldn't know that policeman that is doubling to that case. It's a civil case. So if a policeman is doing it, he's on his own. It is not our job to go and recover debt. So we are not even aware of this. If they do, maybe at, uh, at your own level, you are just discussing with that policeman. But it's not part of our job to be recovering debt for people. So it Let alone discussing percentage. So it's, it's, it's unknown to us. It's it, not part good. of us. That is part unknown of to police. It's not part that, of us. Look, if I, it, if we, before we go, do you, we have to agree now. X if percent, you collect money from somebody, is that he's obtaining money under false pretense, which is criminal, charge mm -hmm, him to court. Mm -hmm. Or you have stolen somebody's money, mm -hmm. stealing, charge him to court. So I wouldn't know where the law is saying police should just be so discussing and negotiating. And it's unknown to the police. Uh, so that that to us. Now, the about. other arm of his question was um, people... Uh, I, I, disturbance, in the public disturbance. And, uh, I wouldn't know... What, 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 what is police doing was the way he put it. Uh, that allows I, I, other people to hijack that situation. Contextually, we just need to understand what it means by public public disturbance anyway. We have riots, we have procession, we have violence. So everything everything has a meaning in that particular context and connected to a particular provision of the law. Yes. So I don't know the public disturbance is okay. seen generally. But, but if you're talking of protest, if it's, uh -huh. if you're talking of protest, peaceful protest is allowed. Yeah, it, it, you are, it, it you is are processing... Allowed. But, in fact, we always encourage them to tell us so that we give them support, we give them security, so that hoodlums will not hijack. In, indeed, I think so that's well, that that is, not hijack that procession of protests. That is well known by most Nigerians. But, 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 but at, the, at the time, a, 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 a gathering, a protest becomes riotous. Ra rowdy? Or when? Riotous. Mm -hmm. That's when the problem comes. Okay. Because a, a riotous assembly is, is a criminal offense in our law. Okay. And there are procedures to follow. When you have that situation, the policeman, the most senior person there, will give you what we call cautionary word to go. Okay. That's, that you people should leave. After that, that's what the law says. It's a process. Mm. But if you fail to do, it's going to give you a reasonable time. And the law is not saying a particular time. Okay. But eventually, we say it be after 12 minutes so, or so 15 minutes. So, Mohammed's questions, uh, question, well, two prong question. Mm. One, the first part about a percentage of whatever the police help you to recover is unknown to the police. It's not in the first instance, you don't even need to do it. Let alone discuss discussing percentage. Uh, 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 and, and so, he can feel free now to escalate this matter because I have heard from the authority, the police. Public, the uh, first PRO that saying that it is absolutely it. unknown to the police. And then he also wanted to know about, um, you know, uh, 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 the people using disturbances to sort of uh, take over. No, no, and, uh, no. you know, okay. Um, so, uh, uh, the, uh, somebody's calling in from Alimo Show. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, yeah, good morning. Timmy, good morning. Timmy in Alimo Show. Good yeah. morning, sir. Yeah. Um, the. Police um, PRO has been... Uh, the first PRO. Mm. The well, first PRO has been, you know, very articulate and outspoken. And uh, as you can see, it's obvious he's a very, very learned person, you know, from uh, your conversations with uh, him. The question is, you see, I, I just put myself in this man's shoes. I was woman is my brother, you understand? I don't want anything to happen to me. Okay, now look, what is this? You know, when you go to their barracks, their welfare, people have been calling and nobody has ever made mention of their welfare. If a police officer, officer should die on duty, what is Nigeria government going to do for the family? You understand? I, I, I do. I'm just I do understand. This man is my, is my uncle now, and I don't expect him to die for Nigeria. He will just die for nothing. You understand? I'm, he's not he's not ending up to $1,000, as educated as he is. I, I hear so you. that's the problem. I hear you. All right. 
Um, let, 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 thank you very much uh, for calling in. It, it, this will happen because the police is so very much a part of society. Uh, it doesn't matter what your topic of conversation is. Uh, people sometimes will hijack it, and I think that is happening. There are so many pressing concerns from interactions with the police that people want to bring to you, and this is one again. Um, Timmy, 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 Timmy has, has, has brought in another topic entirely, uh, welfare and the likes. Uh, but let me, is let it me say, good enough? No, it's, I, I, it's, it's a welcome... No, I mean, is, is, is the, the welfare, welfare that he's talking about, is it good no, enough? No, you can't say the, the welfare is good, but we're improving on our welfare. Uh, like, like I said, that the federal government is trying on the issue of various and uh, facilities, and that's why the federal government established the Nigeria Police Trust Fund uh, to get money to support the government, support the police. And they have been doing a lot in projects. Just within a year, the IGP on its own uh, uh, backed on 192 projects, modern police stations, barracks, accommodation facilities, hospitals, and the like. So he, he has done that. And the issue of welfare salary, I think the government has approved increment. We are going to commence payment very, very soon. I know there are certain things mm -hmm. uh, that we have done mm -hmm. uh, internally and departmentally. So we, we, hopefully we, we're, going to, okay. we're going to have a better uh, welfare package from the government, from okay. the IGP, the issue of uniform. The, the, for many, about 10 years ago, no IG has issued police uniform and kits. Not only uniform, you are going to have your cap, you're going to have your shoe, you have cardigan, you have uh, Which, coat, which, which we have, hear that policemen have to buy out of their own salary. It's officers that buy. They make provision for officers, ASP and above, to buy. Oh, okay. Inspectors, done. They are not, they are not to buy. They issue to them from the store. Mm -hmm. And the IGP has procured enough. In fact, just last week, he, he gave directive again that I understand to be issued out. It's bad by bad. You have a large number of passengers. I hear you. And we are getting across to them. Mm -hmm. Then again, on the insurance, that if anything happens now, whatever, uh -huh. but let me just say it to the Nigerians that the IGP has just got approval to have Nigerian police insurance Company Limited. Okay. This company, this this insurance company is for the police, just to take care of police uh, insurance policies and every other thing that we need to know or to do as power insurance. So <laughs> as day in, day out, we're improving under this leadership. Yeah. I think very very soon in no time, Mr. Dijobi, Nigeria will, what will have number, Nigeria of our, of our own dream. What number would you give, Mr. Dijobi, for the uh, strength of the police? Ah, uh, I, I I I can't say specifically. Except I go through and recover. You know, now every year we are still recruiting, recruiting. Okay. We have, we okay. have casualties. I, I, I we to, have debts while yes. in service. Yes. So for now, so I wanted to put it in the context of our current discussion, even though, as I said, all these other related questions are welcome. But I wanted to sort of put it into the IGP's beefing up of public infrastructure security. This will require men and materials, yeah. uh, which, and I think the way you put it is that the federal government is trying. Uh, nobody says anything is enough. No, no, fantastic. In but, fact, from from the from giving us Nigerian Police Act 2020, mm. that's that's a very good thing. It's a very good uh, achievement under the, pres the, the the leadership of the president. Because for a very long time, the, the Police Act was that in 1960 something, and that cannot even uh, be in tandem with what we are having now. But with that with that act, it's a very good thing. Uh, PTF to support us is a very good thing, and of course supporting. Uh, the federal general police in many areas because one thing is to to put forward the memo to the president. Another thing is for your memo to to, uh, to see the light of the day. But we are we are giving this to the president for his support. He has always been so supportive to the police, okay. and that's why you see the regular basis. Do you know is the president that, that gave approval that we should recruit ten thousand police every personnel month. every year? What, 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 every, every year, year. Every, every year. year. So we have done, we have done what, what, to what, now to, to reach what objective? What objective figure? What no, figure? Well, for, for, for now, he knows that we, we should be able to, to match up with the, the UN, UN provisions. <laughs> that I think a policeman to uh, one policeman to 400 people. So we, I think that's really the target. But now the president has done his own that, okay, in the next five years, go and do this. And we have been doing that. And, and we, we have them on training now, go to police college education. Okay. The another set uh, has just received. And across the 17, no, the 16 uh, training schools we have uh, in Nigeria, the IGP has share them across. So that we will not have congestions in some of these training facilities. Before now, you see uh, constables uh, managing a, a bunk, two, three people uh, sleeping like, um, I don't want to say image, but sleeping together like a, mm -hmm. a refugee and the like. So, no, 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 no. Now they are giving the instructions that share them to all these facilities and he has uh, renovated all these facilities that when you get to training school, the environment must be so conducive for you to learn. Uh, good, that, is the, that is the goal I hear now. You. But going back to the active security aspect, because that's the theme here. Um, as I said, these are the 
things are also welcome. Mm -hmm. You have said that um, policemen in Mufti are not expected on the streets. It's a security mm -hmm. issue. Not on the streets. Don't get it. Don't get me wrong. They are not expected to stand and do stop and such. That's good enough for me. They are not expected. People can so, be in their vehicle someone... and do patrol. So far, they don't come down. Some... To stand and be flagging down vehicles. Okay. Get it right. When you raise your hand to flag down vehicles, you must be on uniform. Okay. And you must be known that this is a policeman. Now, when p policemen in Mufti, T-shirts, jeans, and that kind of a thing... Who uh, approved, uh, approved T-shirts? Well, this is what people the say. The has cancelled that. It's, it's okay. a, a certain that we, issue we from... Complete with a firearm slung around their shoulder. He, 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 Those he are aberrations of the modern if you're on police. Tactical, if your tactical operations, fine, you don't wear uniform. You can wear your T-shirt crested with the name of that squad. And possibly the name of the so the, it's a the form policeman. of uniform too. So, and you can be you can be it's a boss. Police, it's a form of police. It's no, no, no. It's, it's a, a form like, of like, like intelligence response team. Now mm -hmm. they have their logo. You mm -hmm. see, IRT. You will know that's police. This is IRT FIB. Police at the back. Mm -hmm. That is a uniform. Okay. It's not Mufti. But but somebody just putting on one T-shirt. Which used to happen. And one jean. Which used growing to beers, Which used to happen. Using the rings and fetching everywhere and say I'm a policeman. All of that no, is that's dead a, and gone. That is nonsense. It's unprofessional. They just said these tactical commanders should go and. Talk to their men okay. to stop this. Yeah, I want to see a policeman that is attractive, that is fine, handsome enough, that is beautiful enough. Have you that got, would be very have, have comfortable you got feedback that this has been wiped out? Has, has the feedback we been have been that... still having some complaints. Okay. I, I, I'm attending to some cases now where people have reported that some of our men, they, are, they do the dress, they dress shabbily, they grow beers. They look tattered, okay. they look haggard, they but look you rugged, But you continue to work at it. It's no, no, a no. disciplinary no, no, issue, no, no, isn't no. it? In fact, in fact, on a regular basis, directives are, are, are given so, from so headquarters much, to all our formations. So much so that and one, we need to monitor this and we are enforcing So much so that one policeman was fired recently quite publicly for asking uh, for somebody's phone. Uh, the point was made by a senior police officer that no policeman is allowed to do that. That's, that's another case that... Um, that figured so many reactions and no reactions. But is that a fact? No policeman has the authority to do that. To beat? No, to, to, to ask you for your phone. It's illegal. It's illegal, my bro. Okay. You can, you we, can, we, you we, can, we check, you can we, check a phone that is subject to investigation. Yeah. And that phone must have been marked mm -hmm. as an exhibit in that case. Okay. It's not that you just come to uh, me uh, and just collect right. my phone, on the, even uh, on the road. Indeed. It is well, I want to thank you it very much. Uh, CSP, we're, we're so grateful that you could come in. And you've been quite you know, uh, forthcoming. Uh, we got a lot of stuff um, uh, in terms of people understanding the sacrifice the police is making, the professionalism it is striving for. Uh, thank you very much, Chief Superintendent of Police, Ulumuwa Adejobi. And we hope that um, indeed all of these efforts do go back to where we want to be increased security in life. Thank you very much for coming. Again, before we go, election activities are coming up. Okay. They'll soon start campaign. And uh, we'll call you again. We want engineers we'll come to and talk about that. Be we'll very, call very you again. courteous. Don't <laughs> violate the rule. Respect the law. We are moving towards 2020 elections. I think next next month campaign will start. You I, know what it means. You have, Please involve the police. It's good. Carry us along when you are planning, so that we know how to give you men and to assist in planning for your activities. Okay. Well, Enjoy the rest of your day, Nigeria. Thank you very much. <laughs> you also have your own agenda, and you've your, you know that's part of well, it. Well, it's very crucial. It is. It is. It is. It is. Okay. So that's our program today. A quite lively conversation with um, the. Um, Latest, uh, in fact, is the 25th, in fact, for anybody counting, the 25th Indigenous uh, Force Police uh, 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 P -P PRO. Uh, thank you very much for coming. And it's, uh, that's our program. Please join us on Monday for a fresh edition. I am Yori Folarin. Bye-bye for now.